What's up everyone? Welcome to Hollow Knight. Yeah, we are doing an actual playthrough with the face cam this time around. A proper normal video type playthrough. Here's the reason, let me explain. This game was gonna be on... Oh, my dog is already making an appearance. Uh, this game was gonna be on the streaming menu. However, uh, I kind of have a lot going on in terms of like travel and stuff. So I thought, why not do this as a regular playthrough? Uh, I was experimenting with streaming only last month, but this month let's actually do some regular playthroughs just so that if I go away for like a couple of days I don't have to like have nothing out, I can just make these videos and uh, have them scheduled and shit. So yeah, I'll explain more about that later, let's just get into this game. This is a game that is a platformer Souls-like, 2D Souls-like. From what I've heard, a lot of people have been asking for this game. Uh, so we're gonna, we're gonna get it. I'll see about the face cam, I'll probably have to move it around uh, once I actually see, like, how the game is doing. I should read this. F Elegy of Halone Hallow Nest by Monom the Teacher. Mono Mono, or <laughs> fucking Mana Mana. That's an old classic. This game has a really nice art style. I should shut up now. I actually want to pay attention to this game's story. The main character is like super adorable. I'm assuming this is the bad guy. I don't know if this is hand drawn. This looks hand drawn, which would be pretty impressive. Uh, yeah, I just cr scratched my ear, which. Now that I have a face cam, you know, gotta keep that type of stuff in mind. There he is! Adorable. Look at that thing. It's like a bunny. I think it is a bunny, isn't it? Man, this looks nice. Reminds me of those, like, old Flash games, you know, like... Super Meat Boy, uh, Binding of Isaac. You know, that type of, like, really hand-drawn, cartoony art style. It's always super nice to look at. Anyways. Let's jump into the game, I'm assuming. Yup. It even keeps the same aesthetic like this. That's pretty cool. I thought it was gonna be more pixelated. Uh, I've seen footage of this game, of course, but... Okay, we have attacks. Jump. Attack and jump. This is very Metroid-esque. I mean, most of these games are Metroid-esque. That's just kind of in their nature of Metroid being so influential. Ari Gibson. Oh, I thought that was the name of... Okay, I'm stupid. I thought that was the name of the area. I'm like, damn, that... That area name sounds very much like... Okay, if you hold jump longer... Okay. You hold jump longer, you go higher up. It's good to keep in mind. Interact. Higher beings, these worlds are for you alone. Your great strength marks you among us. Can't read. Focus your soul and you shall achieve feats of which others can only dream. Collect soul by striking enemies. Once enough soul is collected, hold... Oh! To focus soul and heal. Interesting. Is this like a checkpoint? Oh, okay, okay, so you don't have like... I understand. I understand. So you don't have like a... I just want to see what's down here. You don't have like an Estus type deal. Oh, it's a dead end. Shit. I really thought that was another path. Um, you don't have like an Estus type deal. Instead, you got a... Like, you got like a continuous meter. That's pretty cool. I like that. I am down with that. One thing I'll be interested to like check out if there's any sort of like dodge mechanic. Let's go up here first. 
Okay, you can. Okay. So that was... The other thing I was wondering, if you can uh, aim your sword, you can. So if this game continues like this, looking super nice. Okay, that's your HP. I was like, which one is your HP? I don't know if I should have done that. Okay, shields. Fucking slurp juice in and up. We got it. Can't believe there's actual slurp juice in this game. And you know, that's a weird thing. Uh, I'm gonna be honest with you. I haven't played Fortnite in God knows how long. Okay, I should have been paying attention to that. That was like very, very obvious. But damn, I've been noticing that game's overall like popularity dropping, right? I mean, it was bound to happen eventually. Obviously, it's still probably the biggest game on the planet. But if you look look on like any YouTube like Fortnite channel nowadays, oh shit! Some of those videos they have struggled to get like half a million views. Okay, I thought that was gonna be spikes. Which is, you know, like, weird to see when a lot of those channels were getting, like, millions of views. Okay, that, I thought I was gonna fall on my head uh, before, you know. So it's like, I'm gonna try... No, you cannot reach that. Okay. Lesson learned. Uh, you know, it's just noticeably something that's you know, gonna be happening. Obviously, that type of stuff is inevitable. No game can maintain popularity forever. Beyond this point, you enter the lang land of king and creator. Step across this threshold and obey our law. Hello, nest. We got it. That's a rude entrance, isn't it? Naisu. This is gonna be good. This is gonna be a boss fight somewhere. I can already tell. I'm assuming you can come back here. Maybe like having like a double jump or something. Because there was some treasure there. You probably could have collected. Oh nice, they have street lamps with like the Junji Ito style spirals. Dirt mouth, the feeding the fading town, the feeding town. That would be that would be quite different. Okay. Wealth, glory, enlightenment, that darkness claims to promise all. Okay. So here's the thing. I am like hella down with this aesthetic elder bug. And he used to come hoping the kingdom would fulfill their desires. Hallow nest it once was called. Supposedly the greatest kingdom that ever was. I am down with poisonous tombs. Speaking of fading. Oh, it's like a little bench. Is that what the checkpoint is? Oh, and it got rid of my slurp juice shield. That's kind of shitty. All your mapping supplies will be opening soon. Oh, it's kind of like... There's that dungeon game that I've been playing on Switch. Lapis X Lazul. It's kind of like that. Where... um. The NPCs sort of unlock gradually. Alright, Forgotten Crossroads. First area of the game. Like, did I just miss out on the treasure there, way back in the initial area? Because... I swear there was more. This heal healing mechanic is, like, actually a lot of fun. You know, instead of always having, like, a set number of heals. Gotta keep it fresh. I don't know why I decided to come this way. Oh, fuck. That's really bad. I just fell hella down. It's interesting, like, you get pushed back a little bit each time you hit an enemy. Okay, boys, we got hella backtracking to do. I didn't wanna drop down this much, obviously. That wasn't the intention. Man, these enemies are like 
crazy adorable, some of them. Very Metroid-esque. I mean, this game, right now, even more so than Blasphemous, is bringing them Metroid vibes. Obviously, like, Blasphemous... Oh, physics. Blasphemous was more Castlevania, I would say. This game is... Just those enemies, you know, that crawl all over those platforms. Very, very Metroid-esque. I gotta pay, pay attention to my time as well. We're only 10 minutes. Oh, fuck. So, obviously... I like these types of games. Platforming, despite what it looks like, I feel like I'm okay at. So, let's just, you know, keep it cool. This is where I came from, I think. I'm just gonna check. Yeah, this is where I came from. And I nearly fell off again. Maybe I should... Yeah, this will be easier. Why don't I go with D-pad controls? I was just about to say, I wonder if this game has D-pad controls. Because this looks like a D-pad type game, you know. Um, definitely do. What the hell? <laughs> Hello there. And this aesthetic is sick. I'm gonna assume there is some way to eventually interact with that good dude. Whatever he is. Shit. This game is good. It's really cheap too. I mean, it's not new. This game came out, I think, a couple of years ago. And this is like the full, what is it called, Void Heart Edition, which I'm assuming is like, like the complete package. I wasn't paying attention. Nearly took two hits of damage too. Anyways, my soul thing is full. So no worries on that front. I don't know why I'm backtracking. I should finish one path. Okay, that was hella Zambo. It really does. I don't know if this had this game had some like flash or origins, but like the overall. Okay, I tried to jump. The overall like feeling is there, cause you know you remember those games, and it's kind of a shame, you know. As Flash is going away, I think next year, sometime, sometime next year, and it's really kind of a shame, cause. See, I'm thinking. Let me just quickly do this. If I put the face cam up here, a la, I don't know what. Maybe it would be better because it doesn't block. Because this one blocks what's coming like towards me, and I don't want that to become like a issue. Professional now. Alright, oh, that one has like a little horn. I think this will be the way to go with this face cam, which means once I get back to streaming Dark Souls, I'm gonna have like no fucking clue where my face cam was. No, actually, I will. I will. Oh, fuck. I really was wondering if that was an em enemy or not. Shockwave, and I'm nearly dead. Let's make a, let's make a tactical retreat, because I'm about to die. So it's enough for what three heals? Yeah, I should have held it. I didn't hold the button down and like used up some, but it didn't heal me fully. So if you go commit to a heal, you should just like straight up commit to a heal. I'm assuming this game has like Metroid style upgrades too. As in, you know how it is, like we'll be able to get like double jumps and shit like that. 
What the? I have no idea what I just did. But it killed that thing in one hit. Shit. Dangerously close to dying. Okay. That's what I wanted. Because it seems to me that there is no, like, dodge. Unless I'm stupid. It seems to be no... Straight up dodge mechanic. Unlike in... Uh, Blasphemous. Terrible jump. But it looks like the heals are fairly generous. I'm assuming that's gonna stop becoming the case later on. As in, it won't be enough. But I'm liking how open this initial area is. You know. Even like Dark Souls or Souls-like ha games have made the mistake of being like very restrictive early on. As in, very linear. Linear. I can't even talk. You know, Sekiro is the one that kind of fixed that. Because Sekiro had like, not like multiple paths, but the initial area is like very, very open. There's like a ton of ways to play the game. But again, oh, okay. There must be some old nail focus. So we hella got more abilities. I'm kind of starting to put together this area. That's what I was gonna... Travelers of Hallowness descend through verdant wilds and fungal groves to the city at this kingdom's heart. There all wishes shall be granted, all truths revealed. Sounds like a plan to me. Hello. Okay. Okay. I know a Metroidvania style blockage when I see one. And I mean road blockage, not bodily blockage. You know. Obviously, we need something else for that. Uh, so what we're gonna do is... I'm gonna try killing that big dude. <clears throat> Who I kinda pushed out on. For, I think, good reason. But... That's how you learn from your mistakes, man. You gotta kill them enemies. There's that little worm thing up there. I'm, I'm assuming double jump will be the key. And those dudes don't disappear. Okay, so the little like critter-like enemies respawn if you go out and back into the area, but not those ones. Insta kill. Not insta-kill. I was just about to say, I'm really wondering if the uh, spikes are insta-kill or not. Because honestly, that's one of the things I found most annoying about Remnant. The insta-kill spikes. You know, even Sekiro had the good sense to not have that. Because it's like very annoying uh, having to go back to a checkpoint because you missed a jump. And that's one of the things I don't like about Blasphemous. How much HP do you have? We got this. And this ain't that difficult. There we go. Told you. Hello. How wonderful. Don't know what that did, but it did something. It felt like an achievement. We got a ton of that money stuff that we need. So I'm happy. The worm thingy is happy. We all happy. I'm assuming this goes to another area. This feels like another area. 
Don't like mine. Is that gonna be an enemy though? No. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> okay, that's pretty funny. So what are you doing down here for? I'm assuming that's not what we we are here for. Okay. All of the NPCs so far have been pretty adorable. Oh, that's hella a Metroid ladder or elevator. Okay. Sometimes I have no idea what the hell is going on. We got some type of power. I'm assuming it will be used to level. Is there leveling up in this game? That's the question. I don't know. I really don't know. Hmm. Like, we got a roadblock there. But there's also... You can also traver traverse, traverse, traverse down, like here. There's a lot of places you can go. Maybe not. Never mind. Forget I said that. Um. Still though. Kind of bummed about missing all that money. Still, though, what I was going to say... I don't want to move into a new area, I think. At least that's like my thought process here. Oh, shit. All of the damage I've taken has been stupid. Or a lot of it. No worries, again, this recharges... ...fairly quickly the healing thingy. So I was gonna say, there's a lot of stuff down here. Let me just check. Something is... Oh, hello! Come down to explore the beautiful old ruins, don't mind me. I really can't read today. Cartographer. Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. It's hella cheap, too. L1. Perfect. Compass and map. Oh, that's really adorable. He reads it. Okay, so that's where we came down. This is where we are. And it all loops around. There's the boss, I'm assuming? But I feel like I've been there. I've been in that area. Okay, NPCs are pretty cool in this game. So we're like at the bottom of... Okay. I think that you actually have to navigate. This goes into that chamber. There was something. Oh shit. Okay. Environmental hazard. There's no way I can jump. No. The background is really cool. I will admit that. Lots of detail. I'm assuming I'm going down this tunnel. Like a little outcropping. Oh, shit. Just be careful. I'm assuming you do not want to... Oh, hello. Yay. I love these types of games. Like, you know... Any game that has this type of, like, adorable art style, I'm down with. Again, Super Meat Boy is, I think, the really famous example. 
example of this. There's a lot of games like that. Even Binding of Isaac. But this one is like extra adorable. Apparently this game gets super hard. I've heard it. I've heard that this game can be... Fuck. And this is why having a respawn mechanic in a platformer game where you respawn at the other platform is very, very, very appreciated. Again, if this was fucking blasphemous, every single one of these attempts is back to the checkpoint. And that game did not have frequent checkpoints. The most frequent, I'd say. That was like my one... Oh, shit. Very nicely placed breakable wall. You sort of like inadvertently unlock it. I just get this cash. All this cash. That thing is pissed at me. It's a lot of these things and they're all pissed at me. Not a lot, but quite a few. By the way, if for anyone who's asking, I'm playing on PS4. Yeah, it's weird because so many people have requested this game and... I know about it. Like, I've known about this game for a while. And I was like, yeah, 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 it's fun. It looks fun, but... Kind of looks like every other, other Souls platformer. It's actually way more Metroid-ish than I thought. And Metroid-ish is the thing I'm kind of down with. Oh, shit. Fuck, it's easy to get lost in this game. I want to loop back. So, like, taking my map, I want to go back to the other side. The reason is because... Maybe it's some sort of shortcut. Maybe not. Oh, nice. Healing spring. And a checkpoint. Perfect. It's exactly what I was looking for. That's super cute when he sits in that. What is this thing anyways? It looks like a rabbit. But I'm assuming it's not a rabbit. Because this is like, this is like insect themed. This game, isn't it? So we're like some bug. A bug's life. Wow, this is a... So getting healed fully. This is a wonderful start. Gotta get her the Quan to heal yourself. Okay, no way to get up there. That was stupid. I like the motion when they go back into the ground. Nice, like, sense of speed being conveyed. This can't be a flash game, right? There's no way this is like a pure flash game. There's gotta be an engine here because the problem with flash was that you could make games on it, if I remember correctly. But the issue was that they kind of ran like crap from what I remember. I mean, even Super Meat Boy. Like, Super Meat Boy made a lot of compromises from what I remember. Maybe, was that game... No, that game was entirely Flash, wasn't it? But Isaac in particular, I remember that game had some issues with how it ran. Fuck, why did I run forward? Stupid. There's no way I'm gonna be able to make it up there. No. I get hit by the worm too. Okay. This has gotta like loop around somehow, right? I mean, this all looks... Generally familiar. Get a rest point. Inspect. Tall machine with the symbol of a stag. How about not yet? I mean, I have plenty of money. It's not the issue. But still. 
I'm being cheap is basically what I'm trying to say. Actually, noticing the time, this really would be probably the correct place to wrap up this first episode here of Hollow Knight. I'm enjoying this game a lot. I've only played half an hour, but this seems exactly the type of game that I would be playing and I would enjoy. Uh, there's a big ass knight in there. We got a rest area though, so it's generally all good. I'll keep exploring this place in the next episode. As, as I said, this will be a regular playthrough. Probably on the days I'm not streaming, so... Nice. I knew it. I knew it. Uh, so stay tuned for Hollow Knight with face cam. I realized that I fucked up how I placed my face cam too. And it's way too far away. I'll move it closer in the next episode, which I'm gonna record right now. Alright, thanks you... Thanks you guys. Fuck. English is difficult. Thank you guys very much for watching. If you enjoyed this playthrough, make sure to give it a like, comment and subscribe. Liking especially really helps out. If you're new here, you're always welcome to join. Yeah, I stream as well. I play all sorts of games. Thanks for watching. Peace out, guys. Goodbye.